Hi everyone, art lovers, friends, family. I'm so glad that you're here with me today. I want to do this, my first video for my YouTube channel, and that's new. It's Art by Mary Ann Hall. I'm gonna keep uploading videos about art, artists, maybe their studios, gallery strolls, whatever I can find about art to keep you informed about what's happening in this area and the field of art. I'm really excited about it, so I hope this is just the beginning. Secondly, I want to tell you that um, I spent the last couple weeks with a 32963 interviewer and um, Debbie and uh, ph photographer Josh, and they have developed an article about my art, and it will be in their newspaper um, this week, I believe. So I'm really excited about that. I'll be posting that on Facebook too. So you got two things to do. Keep up with my Facebook, and when I announce a new video, go check out the video and have a enjoy. Leave comments. I want to grow that video uh, YouTube channel. But first, let's take a look at this piece. I'm really proud about with this piece. I'm really happy with it. Um, it's got a lot of texture, and that seems to be where I'm going now, more texture in paintings, uh, a little more contemporary uh, watercolors than what you see. This is a watercolor. Um, it has a lot of, of texture, darkness to it, which is very unusual for watercolor. But what I want to talk about is that I create my own watercolor papers, and this is one of them. Um, I've added some gauze to it, some other texture, you can see some other texture around here, but but the point is, um, well, actually when I created it, I didn't know what in the world I was gonna do with it. I looked at it and I said, oh no, what's gonna go on this? So I set it on the shelf, and it's been almost two years, and then all of a sudden I pulled that paper off the shelf, had a vision of a moon with a bird, and this is what developed. Uh, very dark, moody, you can tell it's out in the, the marshland, out in the the dark areas of Florida. Um, there's even a reflection of the bird in the moon, and we all know it's a man in the moon, not a bird. But anyhow, it, uh, I thought it was a very, very um, unusual piece, very striking. Okay, as we go on, I want to just show you a couple more. I um, have one of my art students want to do some flamingos, so I'm doing some flamingos to get into the, the mood of how to paint flamingos so I can teach her. But I have bashful, and he does look bashful. And then I've got bad hair day, and we've all had those bad hair days. If you look at his feathers going all over, he's um, uh, just, you know, flustered. Maybe just woke up this morning and, and needs to get groomed. I want to show you, this one is called golden hibiscus. People wonder why I call it golden, but it's just so much yellow in it with the, the yellow green background and the gold, um, the, the grass cloth and the framing. But the hibiscus is gorgeous, um, a little bit of pinks. This is done on rice paper. So again, you have some texture. You don't have quite a bit as much as some of my other ones, but this piece was accepted at the best of the best in Bacchus and Fort Pierce. Very prestigious show. They had 242 entries. I had only 85 were accepted. Two of mine were accepted and this was one of them. So I'm really, really happy about it. Here's a sweet little piece with some sunflowers. Um, sunflowers are very popular right now. Um, again, little dark, um, rusty color background. And I have my snowy egret called Moonlight Serenade. And uh, he's in his plumage uh, looking for his lady love. If you know anything about the birds, when their feathers get all fluffy like that, they're ready to mate, so he's going out looking for his lady love. It's just a little story, but that's how my interpretation of what I did. Again, lots of texture on it, you can see that. As we come along, I was gonna tell you, I've just ordered some totes with this on the tote. You'll see that on my Facebook page um, very shortly too. As we're gonna keep going, keep going, keep going. And I wanna show you my friend's work. Um, Barbara Landry is a very um, wonderful artist. She's um, learned from her through her family. Her mom and her grandmother were both artists and other um, teachers, she told me, from the Rhode Island School of Design. And this is, this is her work. 
She does oils, sometimes acrylic. Um, she's got hunting under the mangroves. Now she's got a blue thread in there. And this one has a lot of texture. If you haven't liked texture, this is another one. We have the sandhill cranes under the mossy oak tree. So, so popular um, uh, the views that we see here with the sandhill cranes. We also have uh, a couple walking their dogs on the beach. It's another, another popular um, pastime for a lot of the people here um, in Florida. We have a lot of tourists on the beach. And then we have a couple of her epoxy um, mixed media. Uh, we have here catch and release. Um, it's a, a poured background with epoxy and then with the with like a paint can with fish on it. That I shouldn't say paint can, it's probably a can with the, all the bait, a bait can. And and her her, her funny, uh, lovely um, octopus. Stylized octopus. Um, very, very nice. I'm gonna take you in just another little bit. I want to show you this one. We have a special event at Gallery 14 called Summer Squared and everything has to be 12 by 12 by one and a half. Um, the unusual thing we found this year, although that was the standard, we found the manufacturers each were off just a little bit. Um, but we did put it in a grid and um, some, some beautiful pieces. I have Anita here with her uh, mosaic glass. And then we have um, um, all right here, Margaret's. I love Margaret. She's got like a little doily here. Um, it's, it's a mixed media piece and it's just a gorgeous piece, very subtle, very sweet. Um, we have here, we have the white magnolia, magnolia on gold um, with a makes her own paper, her watercolor paper. She actually takes the fiber, rolls it out, and then cuts out the, each petal, each leaf, and hand molds them. And, and as it's drying, she has to make sure it keeps its shape. And she came up with this beautiful three-dimension piece. Uh, Jenny Peachtree, this is, uh, um, it looks like a pottery or ceramic piece um, mounted on a board. One person I'd like to go and maybe see her studio is Mia's. Mia does metal work and um, ceramic work, or this happens to be porcelain. Um, she has a beautiful studio and uh, I wanna go down and take a look at it. So she's one of the people. Um, Susan Renzo, right here, she's going to have, um, I was just told, um, she was going to be interviewed with 32963 and, and she is known for her quilting and does quilting um, here in Vero. She's the president of the quilting club, um, but very involved in that. Um, here's um, Stephanie. Stephanie looked at um, this a little differently. You notice everybody used the flat side the solid side of the 12 by 12. Stephanie turned it around and used the back side so that she has a shadow box. And she has two of these. You can see them on our webpage, um, Gallery 14 um, webpage. But uh, a lot of pieces in it. It's called Twist, Rock, and Roll Stroll. Um, Pam Morley has a beautiful, this has epoxy on it, um, floral burst. Uh, you can see it's floral, but they're just uh, the, just like they're popping, almost like a firework. The way it's it's uh, popping out. And then I have here Caroline's. Uh, Caroline has done this um, called Up Close and Personal. The parrot exquisite, very detailed. There's been a lot of good comments about this one. There's some. Uh, very, very nice pieces. This is only one wall. There are four other walls like this. Uh, you can see it August uh, 5th at the gallery stroll and then another gallery stroll in September. First Friday gallery stroll. Otherwise, um, we're open Thursday, Friday and Saturday till the end of July and then we um, are closed August and September except by appointment. That's all I'm going to show you today with my little um, YouTube video. I hope it gave me a taste of what I like to look at and uh, some of the things. If you got comments, leave comments. Um, if you want to um, 
subscribe, subscribe. Um, I'm new to this, I'm not sure all the details, but um, I hope to continue and um, give me ideas of what you'd like to see. That's it for today. Thank you.